Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this particular tutorial, we'll see how you can copy SharePoint metadata using Power Automate. On my screen, you see a document library. A document library has three documents and it has metadata attached to it. So if I select a document, click on the ellipsis, click on more and properties, you see that we have columns associated to these documents. For example, a comment is a text column, a department is a choice column, important is a yes no column, and Africa is none other than managed metadata column. So let's quickly go ahead and understand the use case. We want to convert these documents to PDF and we want to write the PDFs to a different document library which has a column structure similar to the source and copy the metadata associated with each document. So let's navigate to make.powerautomate.com and let's create a new flow. I'll create an instant flow. I'll add a step. The files are in SharePoint. So I'll select the SharePoint connector and I'll say get files properties only. Here I will pass in a site address, then I'll pass in a library name. Our library name is sourcelib, perfect. Next, I want to get the file content, right? Because I want to convert the file into PDF first before copying over the metadata. So I'll use the SharePoint get file content action. And here I will select the site and then I'll pass it the identifier, which is the output of the get files action. Next, what I want to do is I want to add the Mohimbi action to convert the documents to PDF. So I'll select the convert action that is convert document action. I'll pass it the source file name. So the source file name will be file name with the extension, the output of the get file properties action source file content will be the output of the file content action. Now that I have converted the file, I first need to create the file back into SharePoint. So I'll select the SharePoint trigger and I'll use the create file action to the create file action. I'll pass in the file URL and then I will select and then I will select the document library in destination lib. And finally, I need to give it the base file name. That is the file name without extension and the processed file content. The next step is the most important step in this particular workflow. I want to copy the metadata. So what I'll do is I will quickly add the Mohimbi copy metadata action. Understand this, it's a SharePoint only action. And I need to paste in the SharePoint URL first, the source URL. So the source URL is the name is the source library, right? So I need to create this URL dynamically in Power Automate. So I'll put a forward slash. I'll say folder name or folder path. Sorry, I'll put in the folder path and then I will append it with the file name with extension, the destination, the destination is the path that is the output of the create file action. I need to pass in the username. So I'll quickly pass in the username and then I need to pass in the password. This username and password is my SharePoint username password. You can use the service account out here. Finally, what I can do is I can go to settings and I can say secure inputs and secure outputs and I'll give it a name copy metadata. So I'll save my flow and I'll quickly test my flow. And our flow has completed successfully. So if I go back to the destination and refresh, here you see that the column metadata has been carried over successfully. We have the comments, we have the department, we have the importance that is yes or no column and we also have the managed metadata column. Isn't this awesome? Finally, if I go back into my flow run history and if I try to see the previous run, expand the copy metadata action, you see that the outputs 
are encrypted that you that is you cannot see the content the username or the password and i hope that this tutorial was informative thank you for your time and bye bye